Hello, it's Miriam. I'm from Blind Forest Tarot. Here at Blind Forest Books in Sackville, New Brunswick. And today I'm doing a video on the new moon in Aquarius happening January 11th at 3.06 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. So this is a pretty special new moon because it's happening again in Aquarius, but we have an unusual number of astral bodies in Aquarius right now. We have the sun, the moon as of today, Mercury, Venus, Saturn, Jupiter, and the asteroid Pallas Athena, which is about intellectual strategy. So these planets haven't been together in um, Aquarius since the 60s, I believe, and this many since uh, the beginning of like the Renaissance, I believe it is. But yeah, big things are happening right now. And if you can't feel it yet, it will become uh, more apparent. I just dropped our card. <laughs> Ooh, it's two cards. Exciting. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be an interesting time of things really shifting into like full Aquarius energy, which means the true spirit of humanitarianism, of bringing equality to the masses, of yeah, making things work for the collective. Uh, we're thinking outside of ourselves at this time. Um, and yeah, we're just ready to do better for the environment, for people, for everything. So that's kind of exciting. I think that's good. <laughs> and yeah, so just shuffling to get, oh, I've got two cards for that too. So lots of cards coming out today. Interesting. Let's get right into it with our shadow cards. So the energy bringing us to this new moon. So we start with cut the cords. Amazing. So yeah, we're basically letting go of everything that doesn't align with our vision for the future. New moons are very much about release. So that's, yeah, basically exactly where we're all at right now. We're really ready to cut out what no longer serves. And so a fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. So actually the full moon in Aries takes place in Libra season. So basically you're ready to burn down everything that's not providing balance in your life. You're ready to get mad about all the things that you should be getting fired up about. And that's really helping you to do this cord cutting this releasing that's so necessary now yeah because you're making space for your manifestations your intentions high priest intend and create I love that we have a hawk here so it's like yeah you've got really sharp perspective on what's ready to go in your life and that's what you're making work with this new moon so yeah, talk about making things work. Our final shadow card is the King of Pentacles. So you are really ready to get your um, stability hat on. You are ready to form a really solid, really big vision for the future. Something I've been seeing consistently on social media is using this moon to manifest bigger than you ever have before. To at least plant the seeds for bigger things than you've ever believed were possible for yourself. Because now is the time to truly believe it exciting so I could like use some of that energy <laughs> yeah this new moon wants to bring us a sense of ease and grace it wants us to really find our balance in a huge way I love all the yellow and orange on this card so it really wants us tapping into our personal power that cut the cords with the Aries energy really makes me envision just like a uh, spiritual holy sort of fire um, burning out everything that you haven't been able to let go of yet because it's really going to help you find your flow and find your balance in a bigger way than ever amazing wow so we have the other aries card from the deck it's time to take action new moon in aries so you know exactly what needs to go <laughs> same <laughs> and it's really just it's just time to do it um there's some pretty magical energy surrounding this day so you could even decide sometimes it's hard when you're trying to release a pattern you're like okay I'm gonna start this day in the morning but I found something that was really helpful for me was hearing like you know you can start at two in the afternoon it doesn't have to be at the beginning of the day you can start to do your thing whenever you choose to and this new moon really wants to fire you up to make that choice and better your life as a result so we had two cards come out of Angels and Ancestors. Wow. So we have Autumn and Winter. Release the old and rest. And Winter, take care of your needs. So there is such a huge emphasis on release in this reading. We really are leaving the old world behind. We're tapping into our personal magic. And we're ready to sort of howl a new voice out there because we are so attuned with what it means to take care of ourselves um, and how very far self-care can take you when you listen to again your needs uh, especially where it comes to letting go of what no longer serves you so that yeah come springtime the next step in the seasonal journey you really are ready to blossom in a 
unprecedented way. Wow. So <laughs> the two tarot cards that came out, holy. So we have death. Yep. Big time. Something needs to go. And the four of wands. So huge contrast here. So big release needing to happen so that we can stabilize our lives. But then here's what that stability is going to look like. This is the manifestation card. So we have this guy happily playing his beautiful um, instrument. We have his lovely cats showing their bellies, feeling really good. <laughs> this is the card of feeling engaged with your life. Um, of re receiving an important return on your energetic investment that helps you realize that, yeah, not only are you exactly where you need to be, you are like vibing on that, like doubling up on your efforts to date. So you're not just hanging in there and waiting at this point. You're seeing things happen um, as a result, again, of the intentions and um, creativity, la la, <laughs> what? <laughs> Creative goals you've been setting for yourself. <laughs> Oh my, but very cool. So I love that we have the actual like 1111 card for this new moon in Aquarius because it's time to dream big and really see that happen. Again, as a result of what you know is ready to go out and finally taking huger steps than ever to let those things go. Amazing. So our higher self cards, what's our message of hope moving forward through this new moon? Forgiveness and understanding. So a big key in doing this releasing for yourself will be first forgiving yourself, forgiving others as well. But the biggest thing I get the sense right now is that we need to forgive our own selves for the ways that we've screwed up in the past. It's true that we have, and that's okay. <laughs> We're human. Nah, boring. No. <laughs> but yeah, you're ready to forgive in such a way that helps you just more deeply understand your own process. And again, tap into this manifestation energy that really is um, starting to thrive and blossom. Yeah, a win-win outcome is forecast. So you know what balance looks like for you. The full moon in Libra actually is in Aries season. So this springtime is gonna be pretty amazing for people. That's been a general consensus among the spiritual community that there's something big happening in the spring that's gonna help everyone feel a lot more settled, um, a lot more abundant. Um, and things like that. So I'm really interested to see what that is. But this reaffirms that, that balance is being found. Love is flowing. Community connections, relationship connections are on the up and up because we're all really admitting what we each need in our own lives. And that's helping us to, again, manifest the best for ourselves and our loved ones and our communities and everybody. Mm -hmm. So protection guardian, drop your shields. So much healing is happening. I love the peacock feathers on her headdress a big theme that's been popping into my head I'm trying to listen to my like ooh, psychic insights and things is sobriety um, the temperance card didn't show up unless it's the higher self card but I get a strong sense that what we're all releasing are our more like literally addictive patterns the ways that we try to escape from our realities because she's got peacocks all over her head so pe peacocks are the animal both of stepping into your authenticity and allowing yourself to shine but peacocks themselves they eat all this toxic stuff but they're able to sort of digest it and assimilate it and that's why their um, feathers are sort of iridescent they've digested the poison and it goes out into their feathers but anyway you've been doing a lot of digesting and you're aware that you actually actually don't want to be taking in these toxic things anymore. So a big, huge part of this new moon is breaking some major patterns. I know it's been dry February, so a lot of people are already working on that. But this new moon basically supports that energy and wants us all to just be thinking a lot more clearly because that's really going to help to change a lot in the world too. Mm -hmm. So our higher self card is the Ten of Pentacles. And I love that with the King of Pentacles as the Shadow card. So the reading is really bookended with stability energy. You have a vision and you're ready to put it into full action. It's time to take action. It's time to start bringing forward what you want your legacy to be. And it's time to give yourself permission to feel at home in your own life. Wow. So <laughs> that's it for today. Um, the only uh, minor arcana cards present are pentacles and wands. So there's a huge emphasis on career here. And that's been a common theme lately is that if you have any sort of entrepreneurial leaning, now is the time to start. Even just open a Word document and jot down your ideas for your business. Because this is the time to begin that. Because again, the, the hugest part of what Aquarius energy is going to mean for our society is um, scaling back into smaller community efforts. And yeah, the big box stores and things probably going down. So that, yeah, true community vibes can, can 
flourish and blossom <gasps> amazing so thanks so much for watching remember to subscribe like leave a comment if you enjoyed the video share if you think other people would like it um, if you're interested in a personal reading with me you can check out my etsy shop the link will be below you can also follow me on facebook and instagram for daily posts and videos um, on a shorter scale <laughs> but yeah thanks again for watching happy new moon in aquarius and until next time keep your hearts open Keep your eyes on the skies, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.